Hello friends, welcome back to All Unknown Law. Today I'm gonna talk about quick OBGYN. And today's topic is terminology that we use in OBGYN. Like, for example, let me start with this what's gravidity? What's gravidity? And this is very important for medical students. And for US family appearing students what's a gravidity gravidity is nothing but the total number of pregnancies it's nothing but total number of pregnancies okay total number of pregnancies irrespective of the pregnancy duration just you need to ask the patient has she been a pregnant so she will say yeah twice but two times had been aborted so so the gravity will be two okay so just you have to remember what's a gravity gravity is nothing but total number of pregnancies irrespective of the pregnancy duration no duration no pregnancy duration nothing is required like we uh, what do you call in abortion in, in, in abortion we, we ask we use the term in a stillbirth we uh, need to know the number of pregnancy duration so in gravidity nothing is required let's talk about the nulli gravidity nulli gravidity okay what's nulli gravida nulli gravida is nothing but a woman who is not currently pregnant and has never been pregnant means it's like 13 years 14 years old 15 years old or it doesn't matter how old is she if she has not been a pregnant, then it's known as a nulli gravida. Okay, then the primary gravida, primary gravida, the primary gravida. You know very well. This is what you call a primary. Is a woman who is pregnant currently at the first time. She is first time pregnant, and this is known as a primary gravida. Okay, now let's talk about the other one. Is a multi, multi gravida. What's a multigravida? Multigravida is nothing but woman who is pregnant currently for more than first time. Means uh, she has two, three children. Okay. And now she is pregnant is known as a multigravida. Okay. Uh, this is really very important. Multigravida. Okay. Nulli gravida. Primary. Multi. Okay. So let's talk about the parity. The parity is nothing but it's a total number of pregnancies achieving more than or equals to 20 weeks. Now look at this. Here we are talking about the duration of gestation, duration of the pregnancy. This here is very important. In a parity is nothing but the total number of pregnancies achieving more than or equals to 20 weeks. For example, if she has what you call a... Uh, uh, more than 22 weeks or 28 weeks and stillbirth or there is a death this fetal demise okay and then you can say this uh, parity okay parity is present right then here in this parity we have the similar things is nulli para then we have primary pra para let me clear the screen okay in parity we have what you call nulli para okay then we have primary para primary para then we have multi para okay what's an early para is nothing but woman who has never carried a pregnancy achieving what you call um, equals to 20 weeks so 20 weeks gestation is really very important nulli para is nothing but woman who has never carried a pregnancy achieving uh, 20 equals 20 or more than 20 weeks of gestation so it's like an early gravida we have woman who is not currently pregnant and has never been pregnant right so in nulli para woman who has who has never carried a pregnancy achieving more than or equals to 20 weeks of gestation okay in a primary para the woman who has carried one pregnancy achieving 20 weeks so just this is really very important one pregnancy always remember the primary is a one okay and achieving more than or equals to 20 weeks so for to remember parity you should remember 20 weeks of gestation that's really very important 
when a multi woman who has carried more than one pregnancy to what do you call it 20 weeks of uh, gestation okay more than one pregnancy more than 20 weeks has crossed I don't know whether the the baby has died was still birth or blah 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 don't know but for this you have to remember it's a whether it's a multi primary or nullipara okay All right then we have what you call the purpura purpara is nothing but woman who has just given a birth okay and parturient parturient Okay, is nothing but woman who is in labor. She is in labor, then we know as a parturient. Okay, in labor. So these are the basic terminologies that we use in OBGYN. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.